How to add Google Forms on your WordPress website. Quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add Google Forms on your WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now, Google Forms are an amazing way to gather information, and to get started, we will build our Google Form. So to create a Google Form, it is absolutely for free. You will simply go on search for Google Forms, and you can click on the top link. And if you have a Google account that you have already logged on to, then you can simply click on Go to Forms, and using your Gmail address, they will open up Google Forms, and from here, you can begin building a form. Now you can click on blank over here to build your own custom form or you can enter one of these templates and you can see they have quite a few different templates so let's say for our website that we want a basic order form or maybe we want a customer feedback form so you can click on this feedback template this is just a template form that we can replicate or we can customize to make it our own now you can see over here on the top, we have a simple image. Then we have our little sections. And first off, we will choose what kind of feedback, what kind of name that we want. So let's say we will just name it customer feedback. We would love to hear your thoughts or feedback on how we can improve our experience. Then we have our questionnaire. So first off, we're going to choose what question that we want to ask. Let's say we will ask how much would you rate our food delivery service or website or whatever service you're providing. Then you're going to choose what kind of answer will it be. So it could be a checkbox, it could be a drop down, or it could be a linear scale. So I will enter a linear scale. Now we are just going to continue building our Google form over here. So you can enter all the basic questionnaires that you want, all the info that you want to gather. So because this is a customer uh, feedback uh, form, I'm just going to enter a couple more questions and I want it to be a one to five scale. And then below that, I want to add any suggestions for improvement. Then I can enter name, email, and then I'm just going to click on over here and I will click on more questions so I can enter another question and then I can enter whatever I want. So when was your last order? And then you can enter a date and the person can enter the date and then you can add another question. So how was the delivery driver? You can enter that and you can enter a linear scale or you can enter, you know, a checkbox, whatever you want, whatever you think is right. So I just want a short answer. And once you have input, you know, your basic questions that you want in your Google form, you're just going to go into your settings so you can choose to make this a quiz if you want to build your own course if you want to sell online courses or if you want to build a educational platform you can also do that using google and that is how powerful google forms or these google functions are which people often overlook they just don't realize it because it looks so simple but it has all the features that you could imagine for now, after that, I like to go into settings. I like to go into the responses section and I do like to collect email addresses because that can help you later on in just having potential leads or potential customers. And then after that, I'm just going to go into form defaults. You can choose to collect email addresses by default and you can just turn on a few defaults that would be applied to all of your Google forms that you create later on. Once you have built your form, you're simply going to click on the top right over here and you will click on send now you might be wondering hey i'm supposed to add this to my wordpress website how do i do that don't worry we're going to be doing that you're going to click on send over here and then you're just going to click on the link or you can embed the html this is up to you so you can copy this html code over here and then you can go into your wordpress dashboard and because we are using elementor to build our website we can go on ahead and open our website over here and let's say I want to begin customizing it. So you can click on customize. And now you can open up any of the specific panels of your choice. So you can go on ahead and go into the panel and edit that. And this is going to be a little more complicated. So instead, I would recommend just open up your WordPress website using Elementor. So I'm just going to go into the pages section or you can just directly open up your Elementor website editor. And what I'm going to do is with my pages, I'm going to go into Google Forms and you can edit with Elementor. Or you can edit with the normal WordPress dashboard. That is totally up to you. I like to use Elementor because it's simpler. So you can just click on edit with Elementor or you can click on add new and add a new page using Elementor. So you can click on add new 
and we will use this page or call this page customer feedback, whatever you might, might want to call it. And I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply scroll down and you will see on the left side of your screen, you have multiple different options. So from here, you're actually going to add a simple HTML embed form. So you can see if you scroll down over here, you have HTML. So you're just going to drag and drop the widget over here. And now you're simply going to click on the widget and on the left side of your screen, you have the HTML code box and you're just going to click on paste. You're just going to paste a little form that you got from over here and this will open up the customer feedback now you can choose to increase or decrease the size as well so let's say i want to increase the width of this form to maybe 840 so i'm just going to click on over here and this will increase the width as well you can also choose to put this in a specific column on your page and just click on publish over here and just like that our little google form has been added now i will just refresh over here and i can click on have a look and i can go on ahead and view the actual form that is now available on my website so this is how simple and easy it is to embed google forms into your wordpress website so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video